Hi guys, Mark from Chan Movement here. Uh, there's this reoccurring theme that I keep uh, experiencing time and time again and it really isses me off and it has to do with what doctors and other healthcare practitioners say to their clients and it matters so much and the reason it matters is the way you walk out of the door after consulting with a healthcare practitioner decides uh, how you see your future regarding the issue, right? So yesterday I had a client coming in and she had uh, multiple problems. She's been having problems for years, uh, mostly back pain, but also knees, hips, ankles, whatsoever. First off, she said, you know, I have a genetic disease which is causing this and it's um, hypermobility. Now, the, whether or not that is a disease is debatable and we went into that a little bit more uh, along the intake, but this is not what the video is about. She said something else and she said, um, I have a lot of problem with strength, a lot of problems with uh, strength in different positions. For example, I can't get down into a squat position and push back up, stand back up, right? So she tried and uh, yeah, knees were all over the place, hips were all over the place and she needed her hands to stand back up. And then she said, but that's uh, not because of the hypermobility, that's because they took my hamstrings. And, and I said, what? They what? And she said, yeah, I, I ruptured my ACL, uh, cruciate ligament in the knee a long time back, and they took one hamstring to replace it. And then uh, I ruptured it again, so they had to take my other hamstring, so I don't have any hamstrings anymore. And I thought to myself, what? How does that even work? Because uh, if you don't know, if you get an ACL uh, replacement, reconstruction surgery, you take what we call a graft. So a small part of the tendon, it could be hamstring tendon or it can be a knee, a patella uh, tendon. And they take a little bit of that tendon and they use that to replace the ligament. But it's a very small little piece of the tendon. And actually the way they take it out, it, your body should just produce new material and you wouldn't even notice that you don't have it anymore. Mm. So when she said they took my, my hamstring, I was very confused about this. So I asked, what do you mean? She actually thought that they had taken the entire hamstring and that somehow she only had one hamstring per leg. And now, since they took both hamstrings from both legs, she didn't have any hamstrings anymore and therefore she, didn't, she couldn't get back to her normal uh, level of strength. So I had to tell her that you still have, you know, hamstrings. As a matter of fact, you probably have a bunch of them and there's no single reason why you shouldn't be able to get back to your normal strength. And she was mind blown. She was like, oh, you just gave me back my hamstrings, which obviously I didn't. But that's a very, uh, a very funny, I guess, uh, but also a very important realization. Because imagine, imagine you think that you miss major, a major part of your body on both legs, and you think that therefore you can never back, get back to your normal level of strength. If that's what you think, there's a big chance you're, you're actually never going to get back to your normal strength. So yeah, I thought that was a uh, that was an interesting sort of um, experience to share with you guys, especially if you are a healthcare practitioner as well, or you know somebody who has been told something like this. It is so important that we that we explain things well to our clients, and it's also very important that we make them you know leave the door uh, with with a positive outlook in their bodies, uh, especially um, like we don't have to lie about things, but uh, don't make things worse than they are. And try to see if, if your clients actually understand what you mean, because it can make or break the outcome of the therapy that you're going to give them. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you know anybody that could benefit from something like this, please uh, share this video with them and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.